calculated problems. Mr. Barker, in a previous statement, you said that you have been eating fast food up to five times a week for over 20 years. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> That's right. And no one ever told me the food wasn't healthy and making me obese. Really? Nobody said nothing. Corporations, corporations like this, they prey on my client because of their food. It's so attractive, affordable, and convenient. So, honey, excuse me, could I ask you a question? <laughs> When you play sports, are you one of them people that gets a medal even if you lose? No. You're not one of them pieces. <laughs> obviously, Mr. Barker, you're not being force-fed by these establishments. Well, obviously, my client was not force-fed, but when he went to uh, McDonald's and, and let's say he ordered a Big Mac, the ingredients were never properly disclosed to him. Well, two old beef patties, special sauce, lettuce, cheese. <laughs> Sesame seed bun, honey. I think that's everything that's in there, you know. But you know, if uh, you get confused by the products, you know, they got pictures of the food <laughs> behind the menu, you see. And next time you go in there, honey, you should point at the salad. <laughs> Mr. Barker, I understand that you continued eating a diet of fast food even after suffering from two heart attacks. Two heart attacks! <laughs> I don't understand it, honey. Was you hypnotized in a state? No. Was you part of some crazy radio contest? No. Something to do with voodoo? No. A, a hungry ghost pirate living in your body? No. Getting back to the story here. Uh, Mr. Hertz, uh, this is a class action suit. You're not representing just one, but several obese New Yorkers who feast on fast food? That is correct. Oh, my goodness! <laughs> you got me! You should have been extended! <laughs> experiment show. You people come up with the most ridiculous things I never heard of. Oh, I said my friend Zelda, she, she gonna love this, cause she says to me all the time, you know, that they could never get me on the tricks on that show, cause the Kennedy boy, he always looked like a troll. Oh, they did a good job. You look like a little Smurf today. No, 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 no. This isn't the Kennedy experiment. Is it? No. Well, this isn't that spy TV program. I don't care for that. You know, I like a good laugh, but I don't want to make nobody cry. Okay, ma'am. You know what? This is the news, okay? And I'm a real reporter. Oh. And you are interrupting our lead story. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> All right, Mr. Hertz, I have one last question for you. Honey, you know there's a war going on. <laughs> what do you think the chances of this case actually going to trial? 100%. Well, we can never say for sure if anything's 100%. But you said that we would... A lot of it rests on the judge's level of compassion. Oh, I tell you, you better hope you don't get Judge Judy. <laughs> She call it like she see it, honey, and she just gonna point at you and say, you are what you eat, and you've been, you've been supersized. This is Vicki Chan reporting live. Back to you, Jack. She shoot right from the hip, that judge. <laughs> Oh, they rule.